Hello there, this is jthorny12 and in this video tutorial I'm going to be using the Acme Trooper to tell you after on maintenance and procedures after you have finished running and driving your electric RC vehicle whether it is to be a brushless motor or a brushed motor the following things you should always do after running your electric RC vehicle the first being that after running one of the most important things is to remove your battery from your RC vehicle do not leave your battery inside your RC vehicle at any time as soon as you finish running it you should remove the battery in order to prevent fire risks or battery swelling that is the first thing. First thing is always remove the battery once you have finished running and driving your RC vehicle. Next thing is if you have been bashing your RC truck you should always check for any potential damages. For example you should check that all of the screws are nice and tight. So here we are, the truck is on its side and like I just said, you should always check that all the screws are nice and tight. So here we go. You can see I'm checking that all of these screws and all of these bolts are nice and tight. That is very important to prevent further damage on the next run and also something being lost on the next run as well. If you tighten it up prior to it coming completely out, then there you are. That is um, uh, your problem completely gone. Next thing is you should always check is that you should check that your radio equipment is working correctly. One thing I have previously mentioned is that you should never run your RC vehicle if you see any potential signs of danger. So that is why it is important to check your radio we are in order to check your radio you should turn it on and check that you have these two lights here are shining if just the red one is shining then it is time to replace your batteries next thing is is to charge your LiPoly or your NIMH battery for your car. It is very important because with a fully charged battery of course you will get maximum runtime. Here is your LiPoly charger. It is very important that you follow the charging directions and time guides in order regarding how long you actually charge your battery. Charging your battery after every run means that you have it ready for the next one. And finally you should always clean your RC vehicle. Cleaning your RC vehicle means you have maximum runtime and maximum performance out of it. If you have dirt and other garbage on your RC car then you run the risk of things breaking more easily than they would if you had cleaned it beforehand. Finally have fun with your RC vehicles. Enjoy them and if you require any help or situations or queries regarding RC cars, please message me either on YouTube or you can email me to jt12rchelp at aol.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching. jthorny12 out.